Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel Shimna Study Corner. Today we will be discussing the second part of the fourth chapter from your first flight textbook. The chapter's title is From the Diary of Anne Frank. If you are new to my channel, do subscribe. Don't forget to enable the bell icon so that you are instantly notified about my uploads. Before we begin the chapter, let's have a quick recap of what we have learned in the previous video. Anne Frank is a 13-year-old girl. She belongs to a Jewish family and she is the most famous victim of the Nazi attack. At the beginning of the lesson, we find that this girl finds it strange to write a diary. Firstly, she has not written anything before. The second reason is that she feels later on no one including herself would be interested in her thoughts. Then she also says that she has decided to write anyway because she wanted to get rid of some burden and she she has to take the help of a diary because she doesn't have a true friend. She also says that paper has more patience than people. She feels so because the people around her are less tolerant with her. She decides to write in the diary in a different way when compared to others. She also names her diary as Kitty. Then she goes on to give a brief life sketch of hers. She says that she is not very happy with doing that. Her father is Otto Frank, her mother is Edith Frank and she has got a sister named Margot Frank who is three years older to her. She mentions about her and her sister's birth dates. Later on, she explains about how her family shifted to Holland. She mentions about her favorite teacher, Mrs. Cuperis. She moves on to remember about the illness and the death of her grandmother, which affected her badly. Then she also mentions the date on which she started writing her diary, and that is on 20th June 1942. You can watch my video on part 1 of Anne Frank's diary by clicking on the link given down in the description box. Now, let's move on to part 2 of this chapter. This part begins by addressing the diary. Here, she describes an incident that happened in her class. She talks about the anxiety of the students when they are aware that their results are going to be shortly released. She says that all the students in the class were quaking in their boots. To quake in the boots means to shiver due to anxiety or excitement. There was a lot of excitement in the classroom regarding who is going to pass and who is not going to pass. But Anne Frank had her own ideas as to who will pass and who will not go into the next form. But she also says that teachers are the most unpredictable creatures. She feels that though she has got an idea, she never knows what a teacher would be deciding. Then she goes on to explain an incident with her max teacher. The name of her max teacher was Mr. Keezy. She goes on to explain as to how she got punished one day by Mr. Keezy. She was punished by him because she talked too much in his class. As a punishment, Mr. Keezing asked her to write an essay on the subject, a chatterbox, and she was pretty confused as to what she could write about that topic. Anyway, she notes down the topic and keeps it inside her bag and she says that she tried to keep quiet. Though it was very difficult for her, she tries to keep quiet. That evening, after doing all her work, she sits down to complete her punishment essay. She thinks for a lot of time as to what to write in that essay. Finally, she gets an idea and she completes three pages of that essay. The argument of the girl in this essay was like this. She says that talking is a student's trait and no one could do anything about it. She also promises that she would try her level best to keep her instinct to talk under control. But she says that she could never promise about it because she says that this was an inherited trait. She tells that her mother also talked as much as she did and therefore it was an inherited trait. And she says that no one could do much about controlling such inherited traits. Mr. Keezing quite enjoys her arguments when she submits her essay. And then 
After this, in his next class also, she tries to talk. This time again she was caught and he assigned her a second essay as a punishment. And this time the topic was an incorrigible chatterbox. Now what is the meaning of the word incorrigible? Incorrigible means something or someone that cannot be corrected. So she, this time the topic was this, an incorrigible chatterbox. This time also the girl wrote down the essay. She handed it to Mr. Keezing and Mr. Keezing was quite happy with her essay. She did not give him a chance to complain for two whole classes. But what happened again the next day she, she was caught talking. And this time the topic was quite weird. This time again he gave her a topic to write down. And this time it was quite weird. The topic was quack 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 said Mistress Chatterbox. This was the topic for the essay the third time. Now the class quite enjoyed this fun. The class was laughing as soon as they heard the topic. Even Anne Frank enjoyed that. But this time she has ran out of the topics to write. She did not have anything to write. At this time her friend Sani, this girl was good at poetry. She promises Anne that she would help her to write down the essay from the beginning till the end in words. That means like a poetry. And Frank was quite happy by hearing this and this time this friend of hers helped her to complete. Now she says that when she finished the poem it was very beautiful. The poem was about a mother duck, a father swan and three baby ducklings. And what happened in this story? The baby ducklings were bitten to death by their father and the reason was that they quacked too much. That was their fault. Due to this fault, the father uh, father swan bit them to death. This time also, Mr. Keezing took the joke in the right sense and he read out the poem to the rest of the class and he also added his own comments. And then she says that since that time, since that in incident, she was allowed to talk in the class. She says that no extra homework was assigned to her. From then on, Mr. Keezing allowed her to talk. And she says that in fact, Mr. Keezing himself had started to say some jokes. So she means to say that this incident actually had an effect, a changing effect on Mr. Keezing rather than the girl. With that, we have come to an end of today's video. Hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, do subscribe my channel, hit the like button and leave your valuable comments below in the comment box. Do remain safe and sound in your homes. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, it's bye from me, Shimna. Bye.